Intraoperative radiation therapy for breast cancer is a recent innovation which represents a major advance in the treatment of breast cancer. Intraoperative radiation therapy for breast cancer has been validated in a large multi-center international trial where intraoperative radiation therapy was compared to the standard five to seven week course of radiation therapy which is commonly given after lumpectomy for breast cancer. Intraoperative radiation therapy was shown to be equivalent in terms of local control of the tumor and in terms of survival for those patients treated for early breast cancer. The benefits of intraoperative radiation therapy are that the entire course of radiation therapy, which normally takes five to seven weeks, can be administered in as little as 10 minutes while the patient is undergoing lumpectomy. The other benefits of intraoperative radiation therapy is that there is a minimized dose of radiation therapy to the surrounding tissues, to the remainder of the breast, to the underlying lung and heart, muscle and bones. This reduced radiation treatment results in a much better long-term cosmetic result compared to the standard radiation dose which treats the entire breast. There is also a reduced treatment cost which is the result of just a shortened treatment period to the single fraction of radiation administered at the time of lumpectomy compared to the prolonged treatment which is the standard. There are general treatment guidelines for which women are good candidates for intraoperative radiation therapy. These are just general guidelines and there is some flexibility for the individual patient. In general, patients with ductal carcinoma in situ and infiltrating ductal carcinoma can be treated with IORT at the time of lumpectomy. In general, it is important for the tumor to be unifocal, that is, for there to be one site of tumor within the breast for treatment with intraoperative radiation therapy to be appropriate. Generally, women over the age of 40 are good candidates for intraoperative radiation therapy for breast cancer. The following cartoon depicts a treatment with intraoperative radiation therapy for a breast cancer in the left breast. Initially, a lumpectomy is performed. In the cartoon, a rather large incision is made, but usually a very small incision can be used. A device which will carry the radiation is then inserted into the lumpectomy cavity, and the device is then connected to the intraoperative radiation therapy machine, and a dose of radiation is administered to the volume which corresponds to the volume of the tumor and the margin which was removed at the time of lumpectomy. Following the radiation treatment, the device is completely removed from the patient and the lumpectomy incision is closed as it would normally be closed. When considering intraoperative radiation therapy for breast cancer, it's important to seek out an experienced surgical oncologist who is experienced in the procedure of intraoperative radiation therapy and trained in the nuances of the techniques required for lumpectomy with intraoperative radiation therapy. The surgeon needs to work closely with the radiation oncologist to design the treatment regimen and individualize it to the patient.